Hello guys, your man Hardman. man. Welcome back to my channel. Long time in here. I know I've been looking at a lot of y'all um, channels and everything, so we're going to get in straight into a review. Somebody, I believe somebody did ask for a review for one of these figures. Just only the second one I do have. So <clears throat> I'm going to do my best review and get it um, get done for y'all guys. And before we get into the review, I got myself a tripod, guys. A tripod. Too bad I can't show it to you right now because I'm using it. But I'll try to find a way to, to throw a picture of the tripod and all that in there. Some type of way. So I got a tripod. I did pick the tripod that I'm using right now out of um, Target. I couldn't remember. So I'm going to give you a close-up of that. There it goes right there. There's the back of it. Other figures you can get in the line. Uh, and everything. Now, I'll be truthful with you. I'm not into the uh, the Roblox. I don't know too much about it. But this is what one of the things that hey, a cool figure is a cool figure, no matter what it is. I like picking it up. It gave me that um that steampunk type style. So that's the reason why I grabbed it. Um, if you want to check it out, if you want to, if you can't find it, you need those numbers. There's the, um the barcode numbers at the bottom. So. I'm going to pause, come back, and we're going to check it out and see what this um, Roblox figure is all about. So, to me, it would be 2,000 minutes, but to you, it'd be a second. So, I'll be right back, and don't go nowhere. All right, guys, I'm back. I got everything out of the packaging. And before we get into the accessories like we normally do on this, uh, on this channel, as you notice, you do give a... Um, a checklist if you want to you probably keep this checklist and check off the figures that you are looking for now like i said i'm not into roadblocks but i see some cool figures on here i wouldn't mind getting i like one of these i might see if i can hunt down i might see if i can hunt down that one right there let's see if i can hunt down this one and there might be a couple more on this side i might see if i can hunt down there's some more figures right on the back Right there, I like my, I like this one right there. That one, I seen that one right here. Why well, didn't grab it? I don't know. I think I seen this one, and I do have that one. So, um, so let's get into further ado for I run out of time. So the first thing you do get, you did get the um, these type of um wings right here that you can put on the figure. And these are articulated. Right there, as you can see, they can move up and down. It, it is like on the soft plastic. Um, does this part move? No, like a real soft plastic. Got a little bit of detail on there, as you can see that right there. You do get a, a functional bag. I love functional bags when it comes down to especially with my action figures. So you do get a functional bag. This part do move back and forwards, and you do get. I guess what you call. I don't know what they really are, but you get three of these. I'm gonna call them like little notes or letters. They all wrapped up in a nice little um red um like a like a like a, uh, a piece of paper like that. And you do get um the steampunk type of binoculars right there. Not too much detail, no glass, no paint, nothing like that. We do get them, and I'll show you how all that's functioning on there in one second. So here's the figure itself right there out of the packaging. You do get the light, um, uh, um, light steampunk type glasses on, the hat on, um, the hair is molded across the eyes. You got the nice little bow on there, nice little green on, on, on the belt. This part of the body is one solid piece of plastic. As you can see, there's the detail all on the, all the boots. I love the boots. Nice detail on the front. There's the back of it. You see the hole on the back that show you how the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the wings will go on the back and show you also where you probably put the binoculars. I'll show that at probably at the end of the video how that go. Let's go through articulation real quickly. Head goes left and right. No up and down. You can't get the arms to go out that far, down that far. Nice bend at the elbow right there. And you do have a nice rotation in the hand. On both sides, like I said, this is like one solid piece. I, don't, I, mean, I want to lie to you guys. It's all this is one solid piece. You can't get the legs. Can the legs go out? No, legs can't go out. You can't get the legs to go. A nice little bend right there, and the foot, but it's not really rotated, but it's on a peg 
I can see you can take that off and peg it back on so it's not really rotated so you can't really get it to move if you do move it it's going to come off so you got to be careful with that so but you can pop it back on <laughs> and everything so if you want to put the binoculars you probably can put the binoculars right about here I don't know how securely they're going to stay. Let's say something. Let me get these things to stay securely. I want to stay secure. I don't want to fall off in this case she does do a shelf dive. I can't get it like I want. Let's see. It, it can stay not really securely, but it'll stay as long as you don't really fingle dingle with it. Let's see. I'm shaking it. It doesn't really come off. Like I said, you can take and put the light letters and stuff inside of here. I also you can I love you can just you can do stuff like this. Functionality, all three of them fit in there. And the last one could be kind of tight, but we can get it in. There you go. You gotta make sure you shift these over to get them in there. Like I said, this is functional. You can put this on the back. There's the peg hole right there. If I put it all in the thing. So you just peg hold that in the back. I know it's gonna come off eventually. Let's see. Peg hole. I'm on. Peg on the back. Oh, I don't like to wrap this review up. Let's see. There we go. There we go. It's, I might have to hot water, put some hot water on there, but I know I'm going to get it to move eventually. I know I am because I know why. I just know I am. And you're going to have to get a little bit of force on there, a little bit of hot water. Oh, that's tight. That get them moving. And this head is moving up and down. So I do apologize. I just found the functions of the head. There's moving up and down. It's a moving up and down. As you can see, it has a head. I'll put that on. I'll show it at the end on in pictures. You can get the head to move up and down and also left and right. I do apologize for that. And um, now I think I have a funny feeling that you probably unpegged this. If I unpeg this, I bet you I can probably get it on there. So stay tuned for pictures at the end, everybody. So hope you enjoy my review on my Roblox figure. So everybody have a good, and you do also have peg holes at the bottom. Now if you sit, now I think you get them smaller GI Joes. I think they will sit on the peg on the stands on the GI Joe stands, kind of de kind of decently. So hope everybody have a good day, good night. Hope you enjoyed my view. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And everybody have a great day out there. And don't forget also check me out also on Instagram if you want to. And that's all, folks. And she fell over.